here at the Martinsburg Air Base in Martinsburg, West Virginia, here at the Star Base on campus. We've got Isaac behind camera number one, Sean behind camera number two, and Will here as my lovely assistant. Now today, we will be making a miniature trebuchet, a weapon of medieval times and a little bit beyond that as well. Now, you will need a few things for this. And first thing, cardboard, approximately one foot by one foot, kind of looks like a rectangle, kind of looks like a square. You will need about eight popsicle sticks, and we'll get to the reason why in a second. And let me just organize the space here. You'll need a pencil. It can be sharpened. It can't be. Doesn't matter. Then you will need a milkshake straw. A hot glue gun, but a regular glue stick can most likely work as well. And you need parent supervision. Yes, and you will need adult supervision for the hot glue gun, unless you're just really a daredevil and think you can do it by yourself. Okay. Now, next up here is... String. 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 And... We've just got this little pre-made baggie with the rest of the supplies, but if you don't have that, that's fine. We are privileged, so that's fine. And you need a weight. It can be fish. It can be a fishing lure. It can be a fishing weight, battery, anything that's heavy. Your grandma's old mothball, if you can find one. Um, but anything that is heavy enough, but small enough that it can be used as a counterweight. Now, first thing we're gonna do here. Is sort of measure out the frame so will if you will just make, make the a and just kind of mark it with a sharpened pencil we'll have a sharpened pencil okay that will work too <laughs> it works oh you might want to start from that side and then you have to Okay, I will measure it, and Will is going to tell you about some of the history of the trebuchet. You can watch it. Well, did have it. There it is. <laughs> okay, the trebuchet has, um, as he said, it, it, it was used in medieval times. And as he's measuring, he's measuring everything. So this is, you have to do this, so it will work out. So what I'm doing here is just using the popsicle sticks and making kind of like uh, an, an odd little X shape for now. And then I'm using my milkshake straw, putting it at the very end here, and just sort of measuring out where, where the frame will be. Wow. Yeah, she got that pre-spot off. And so if you could just... Yeah, if you could just mark it there. And so now, what we're going to do is begin constructing the frame of our mini trebuchet. And so, you take your two little popsicles here, and you're going to keep the X shape that you use to measure so out. If you, we have a template, so we can use it to see how you need it. But obviously, if you don't have a template, yeah, that's fine, because like I said earlier, we are privileged because here we're here at this military base and they don't trust us to do anything. But, <laughs> you're just going to line it up like so. Again, if you don't have a template, that's just fine. And then we're going to line it up here. And then, and then I'm going up. to take my hot glue gun. Let me just line it up a bit. And I'm going to line it up like so. Again, no template, that's fine. And I'm going to apply the hot glue. Um, but a glue, regular glue stick will work as well. At least I think so. So don't be worried if you don't have hot glue. 
regular glue will work as well. And then, whoop, whoop, whoop. so then you just kind of squish this together like so, just so it's really there, nice and tight. So then we're going to come, we're going to take our other two popsicle sticks, and then it's a lot easier if, like we used with the template, if you line it up like so, then there we go, just about identical, so then we going to apply the glue, be, self, be sure not to uh, boil your skin off. Make sure you don't touch the metal part at the end, that gets really hot. Yes. That's what I call hot glue. And so, so then we're just going to squish this together, and then Bill, if you will hand me one more box of it. Okay. Now we're going to use this popsicle stick, break it in half, oh, we have. Is there scissors in there? Oh, is there already half one in there? Yeah. Okay. You have to break it in half like this. We have we already have ones that we already did. But if you don't have a pre-made one, then you're just gonna slide your hand down to about the middle and snap it. And you don't be do. That would probably be a good idea. I mean, if you can snap it, that's fine. But if you have scissors, that's don't bad. try to be John Cena here. <laughs> so we but already have these. We already have pre-made ones, and so Will really wants to make the A. Oh, no, come on. You want to do it on here. <laughs> yeah. so. And so you're going to place them on, it's supposed to be, into a you're shape. You're going to have it like an A. That, That's why we're calling it A, because you're going to put it around like this, so you can do it now. It doesn't really matter how far down you put your aha scissors. And just and just to demonstrate here, where's my popsicle stick? I don't know. There it is. You're gonna train about halfway down and cut it. Oh, it doesn't really matter how far down you put your aha scissors. And just and just to demonstrate here, where's my popsicle stick? I don't know. There it is. You're gonna train about halfway down and cut it oh 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 there we go there we go there we go and you're gonna cut it just like that and it fell on the floor but that is okay because we already have some right here aha Oop, I touched the hot <laughs> and so make sure you go you have to you have to put it on right after because the glue dries very quick and then you're just gonna really squish that together like so, just make sure it's really there, but be very careful because the hot glue is still hot. And the last thing you would probably want to do is, is cut burn your skin off. And burn your skin. And then squish that one together. Now, next, you put it. Like so. And then. We got, now, since you used to not have scissors, we gotta make the mark. Put it right under there. Like so. And so, one thing you will want to do is when you make the holes. Wait, 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 wait. I'm just not gonna... Oh, you're just making See? it. My bad. My it's bad. Gonna be... It's gonna be like, like that. that. But one thing you want to do is use your hot glue or glue, whichever one you have. You just kind of put it like in the hole. Hot glue it in the hole, just so it's in there nice and tight. It's like somebody's standing on my cord, but that's okay. And then you're just gonna hot glue it in there and you made it short, that's okay. Lord have mercy. <laughs> okay, now you gotta put the glue in. No, put the Okay. Now try. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. okay. Now we gotta put glue around it. Now we're gonna put glue also around it just to make it really sturdy. You don't have to do that, but 
if you want yours to be incredibly sturdy, we advise putting glue in and around the hole you've made and then just sticking your popsicle stick down the hole. Okay, and then and you so, want to hold it there for a few seconds? Yes, you do want to hold it there for a few seconds just so it doesn't, you know, fall over and really kind of damage it and then as well as going to put the next one in where I'm going to move on to the next step. No, you can't. Okay. I'm going to move on to the next step, which is reinforcing the foundations of our A-like structures. And how you're going to do this is you're going to take a popsicle stick. We have one more in here, exactly one. And just similar to how you made your A structure, you're going to, oh wow, that's a lot of glue. You're going to cut this in half right here. Right. So, that's not how you cut. And we do have pre-made yeah, ones, but we're showing you how to do this because he will most likely not have pre-made ones. And then once you cut it in half, you're going to cut it in half again. Make sure this time the half, the halves, my bad, are not too small. And they went flying everywhere. And then you're going to cut be, them. Of course, you need one. Do you want to make them into quarters? Yes, you want to cut them into quarters. And then these we are going to glue to our structure. If I can break that. Oh, that was not a clean cut. But we're going to oh. use these while he's cutting those. And so there we go. We've got our extra pieces just in case. And while you're doing it, you we like to put like it down the um, um popsicle stick just so it can. It also helps that not only will you put a hot glue line or glue line down the side of the popsicle stick, but also a line right under it, so that way your little foundations will. Please. And so we're just going to finish this now. Okay, now we get on. Next, do you want to do it now? No, we can't. Okay. So how's everybody's day been? Good. You enjoying your day? I hope that's a yes. I'll pretend it's a yes and be like, good for you. Um... But now we just wait for our little foundations to be placed. And then after this comes the, uh, probably the trickiest part of this whole experiment. Trebuchets are very interesting medieval weapons. Of course, they were probably around a little bit before medieval times, but they're most considered as medieval weapons. They were used quite often before the invention of cannons came along and was able to fire similarly sized projectiles to the trebuchet just at much faster and greater distances. And now we just kind of wait for the glue to dry a little bit. And there we go. And now we're going to uh, grab our instruction packet because this is very hard to memorize from muscle memory, especially when you have a goldfish memory like mine. This is what you're supposed to be making. Right down here is what we're doing the next half with. And so, let's take a And now we just kind of wait for the glue to dry a little bit. And there we go. And now we're going to uh, grab our instruction packet because this is very hard to memorize from muscle memory, especially when you have a goldfish so. memory like mine. This is what you're supposed to be making. Right down here is what we're doing the next half with. And so, let's take a pulse. You take. Yeah. 
And then you need a straw. We already have a we already have a pre-cut one, but you cut it about you cut it about wait. Or there. if you desire, you can take the whole straw and loop it through the unsharpened pencil that you want. Almost an exact fit. And then, but for convenience sake, we're going to use the smaller one yeah. because it's much more likely to. Um, and you want to be careful because sometimes if you don't cut it right, it gets a crack in it. Yes. And so you're going to loop it around your pencil. Make sure it's about the middle, just like so. So just gonna make sure that's completely centered. Doesn't have to be, but okay. I'm a perfectionist, that's what we do. Next, we need any weight, fishing battery, fishing weight, battery, anything will work. But then you take the weight and then use a popsicle stick and you put it at the weight like that and then And it appears we don't have tape. The one thing you always need for science is tape. <laughs> right. So, this the part you're going to have to edit out. There's no tape in that bag? No. Hole? No. Mm -hmm. well, a lovely assistant goes and grabs some tape for us. You, this is what it's supposed to, the reason why we need tape is because you are supposed to tape it around, so like see. on it, like this. You see how the battery. You're supposed to tape it over, and then you're supposed to like wrap it. And this is like this is already a made one, so you guys can see. But you really then, want to tape it on there just so it, your counterweight, whether it be a small A battery like we have right here, or sorry, double A battery. My bad. There's reading the label. Don't read labels. And so, you can use this small little AA battery if you have some. You can use an eraser. You can use a random mothball you find. Um, really, anything will do. Just as long as it's small enough but heavy enough to be used as a weight. And can fling stuff away. And so, while we wait for the tape, there it is. I caught that. Did anyone want to see that? I caught that. Anyway. And what is a ball? What is it? Show and tell. <laughs> well, whatever. You, that's what you said. I believe there's an old myth that moths eat clothing and they regurgitate it. Which comes out into a little ball. You know, like how cats do hairballs. <laughs> and it can be quite disgusting, but. Yeah, and then oh, yes, okay. orbit that. There we go. So then we're gonna tape our battery. Now you want to tape it kind of up to the top of your popsicle. Yeah, but not at the very, very top. But not quite at the very top. So like right there will do. You're gonna place your tape. Well, that's probably a big piece of tape, but you're gonna put it right there. Put it over the battery, and then the other end of tape is going to come up over the end of the popsicle. And then you want another piece of tape. And then you want another piece of tape. Just to make it sure it doesn't fall. Just to really tie it in place, make sure it doesn't fling off and hit somebody in the eye while you are experimenting with this. So, just going to put the tape. Right there, like so. And then you want a um, pair paper clip, and then you you see the little thing. You pull it out, and then you just want to straighten it. Yes, when you look, when you using your paper clip that you are going to need. We've got to mention that, by the way. I'm sorry if that cause anybody any inconvenience but when using the paper clip you want to peel up the small side of it 
until it's straight, just like Will has demonstrated here. And, and it looks you get a piece of tape. almost like this, like an elf. And so then we're going to rip off the piece of tape, tie it together like that. And then that will be where your flinging object is going to be, whether it be anything you can know, find can around the house. Yeah, anything you can find around the house but small enough to be used Thank as a weapon. Don't get this straw. Now, and now we gotta put... we're going to take our straw that we measured out on our pencil, and we're going to put it on, coming close. We're going to loop it around one of the ends. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to loop it around the back. And really tie it together like that. But if you want to go even more, you can really just wrap around until you find that it is tight enough. And then we're going to take our pencil. Now we're going to loop it through. Yeah. And then it doesn't really matter which way you put it. But the way they taught us in class, well, school, am I right? But the way they taught us in class is you want to put the battery facing toward you. So that way, when you fling stuff, it doesn't come right back at you and into your eye or up your nostril or into your throat. But we're going to put the pencil on like so. Voila. Almost done here. And, and now we're going to take little strings we have oh we have rubber we have more rubber bands so we're gonna put it like this and then yes you twist. absolutely want to reinforce the pencil's connection with the a-like structures using rubber bands and will is tying them because i don't know really how to do that but yeah so then we're going to take a little string that we have while well, will is tying that up then a little bead that we were... We probably want to cut it first. Lend it. Oh, yeah, that be a um, good Can idea. Oh, right, I need to hold it for that. Uh, we should probably cut it about right here. Sometimes so while strength. he cuts the titanium-like rope, <laughs> then we're going to feed the rope into... Oh, my. And out, we're showing you, but this is the, going to be the finished product. Now, we're probably going to end up using that one because, like I said, privilege with surprise. But we're going to loop it through. Yeah, you have less chunky fingers, so you loop that through. And we're going to loop it through our little bead here. And then... While we are attempting to loop it through. I'm going to cut some of this. So while he's do that, would you guys like a demonstration? Yes. Please. I assume you're all gathered in like when a big congregation and shouting from the rooftops for a demonstration. So, now last time I tried this... It didn't really work out because I messed up at some point, but we're going to loop our little rope around our counterweight. You want to put your finger at the end so when you pull it back, it slides down, but not, but doesn't slide off. And if one of you wants to come around to the front so I can aim at the camera, get the audience a uh, up close view. We're going to do that, and there we go! Hit Sean in his crotch, but that's okay! <laughs> and then if you want to <coughs> grab that... Oh, oh. And then boost that and grab that. And, grab that out. and if you really want to boost, then while using your first hand, left or right, doesn't matter, to block your counter, not the counterweight, your object from falling off, if you want to just give it a little push, 
and it flew again. This time, it did not hit Sean in his crotch. Right in between. But there we go. And that is how you make a mini trebuchet. But there are many other ways that you can make this. Just the way this is just the way we were taught. Simple, quick when you're not, and you know, distracted. If you, and it, it might be easier if you have a parent to, if you guys have a lighter, to light this to make it like not so streamy. Yes, adult supervision is required for this little activity because hot glue you know, gun, hot glue, scissors, scissors, of course, some pointy, pointy, but you know. And then, one last demonstration here, just to show you that it really does work and it's not uh, some sort of camera magic trick. Just gonna let it go and fly like that. And if you want to, um... Now, the reason that this works is because, as you see, hold on, as you see... You can put your... As you see, hold on, Bill. As you see, right now, our popsicle stick with the battery and the paper clip is in a motionless state right now. Although Will is hitting it like some sort of cat toy. Stop touching. This is a motion. This is what it's supposed to look like. It's not moving. And this is a state that it's in. And it has a lot of potential energy. Now, potential energy is just energy that sits there and it just kind of stores up like when something doesn't move but when you're pulling it back it's slowly combining with kinetic energy which is just a fancy word of saying that the energy of movement is starting to gather then you know slowly pulling it back still a mix between potential and kinetic energy i'm so sorry buddy i it just got a mind of its own. It just got a mind of its own. And that is how you make a mini trebuchet. And if you want to be, if you want to be, that if you want to be make it go farther, you hold it down here, and it goes far. Wow, you're much better at that than I than I am. <laughs> yeah, and also um, it didn't hit me. Another thing to note, real quick, before we do go, is that the larger or. I should say heavier the your counterweight, then the further it's gonna go. Like if you were to use, I, pushed down I don't it, know, a it big heavier chunky battery that's like twice or three times the size of this little one right here, then your little thing could probably go about halfway across a room if it's given the right um, push and if you made this thing right. But yeah, and that is how you make a mini trebuchet here at Starbase. Wow, it really does work. And um, I am Walker. Most people call me Harold. That's a long story. He is Will. We've got Isaac behind camera one. So let's see his hand. Then you've got Sean behind camera number two. They look like they're trying to take selfies of each other. <laughs> and we are Le Team making Le Trebuchet. And we will see you the next time. Have a good day, everyone. Hello there. Never mind, I thought I was expecting something. Pulling it back. Still a mix between potential and kinetic energy. But when you fling it, it goes into kinetic energy right into Sean's crotch. I'm so sorry, buddy. I it just got a mind of its own. It's just